Today's tutorial is super quick. Um, this was something that I discovered yesterday in the SketchUp 3D warehouse and I wanted to make you guys aware of it. So on the screen you can see an A3 sized presentation that I did recently. It was for a proper commission for an interior designer and it was to communicate the design of bespoke furniture for a living room. So in the top right hand corner you can see the floor plan and in the bottom left you can see a storage unit and on the bottom right you can see a bespoke small unit that is going to be positioned beside the fireplace and I have numbered one and three in the small floor plan top right hand corner just to help the client understand the design of these pieces and where they're going in the furniture layout. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I wanted to talk about today is the really awesome lighting in this storage unit, okay? So you can see that this storage unit has LED strip lighting. So this is nice statement lighting. It, is, it doesn't have a huge amount of practicality. It's more for aesthetics and also to highlight beautiful objects in this storage unit. And I wouldn't normally include lighting, even in my photoreal renders and also my Photoshop renders. I think they're better without lighting, unless it's a kitchen or a bathroom. But in this scenario, because this unit does have statement lighting, I decided to illustrate it in this SketchUp style render okay so there's no photoshop here this isn't photo real this has been taken directly out of sketchup and the led lighting was also included in sketchup and i'm going to show you how that looks in the sketchup model so here's the well not model this is actually a 2d elevation there is nothing 3d here okay so you can see that sketchup is very capable of producing stunning 2D plans and visuals and I just wish that more people were aware of that and used it for this purpose as well. It does them beautifully but you can see right here that the lighting is included in this elevation which is so handy because when you're going to present it in layout, this is layout right here, um, you, you have the lighting included and everything is done super quick and it's efficient. So let's go back to this this is actually a png file and it is it has been imported into this sketchup file and th that's it there's really nothing else to discuss in terms of what this is it has been done it's a graduated uh, effect that has obviously been done in photoshop but if you go to pers or not perspective yeah if you go to perspective mode you'll see that in order to use it, you do have to put it just in front of the elevation, okay? If you have it right up against the face of the elevation, you're not going to see it. It won't work correctly. So just make sure you do that and line it up. Um, it might take a, a couple of goes to reposition it, and that's it. How stunning does that look and I have used it in another elevation as well for a cinema room and it looks even better because the colors are darker here so it stands out even more and I've also used it in a wall paneling and uh, this is a different type of lighting and I've changed the yellowness of it I've made it a little bit brighter and you can change the color just the way you would change any color of a material in SketchUp um, you would use the sample paint tool, click on that and then go to edit and you can change the lighting to whatever you wish, okay? And I'm just going to put that back again. So this is the file that I found on the 3D warehouse and this is the clever guy that uploaded it. I don't know if he created it, but I wish to thank him officially for doing this because it is such a simple technique, uh, but it's very effective. I'm going to include the link to this file on the 3D Warehouse in the description so that you can download it and try it as well. 
Um, again, a very simple way to include lighting in a non-photo reel render exported from SketchUp to help you communicate your designs and to help your clients understand and interpret your design proposals. I hope you find this helpful.